Manchester City poised to make late move for Premier League superstar. Hey there and welcome to another installment of World Football News. This time round we will be looking at an article that appeared in City Extra. It reads, Manchester City poised to make late move for Premier League superstar in £60 million transfer conversation. Officials at Manchester City are reportedly poised to make a late approach to sign Crystal Palace and England international, uh, international Aborigine as they this summer. The 26-year-old has attracted admiration from the Etihad Stadium for over 12 months now. Premier League champions having first considered an approach for the player during the previous summer transfer window. In light of Ilkay Gundogan's exit to FC Barcelona on a free transfer and Kevin De Bruyne undergoing surgery on a hamstring injury, Pep Guardiola was left short in creative positions in the centre of the park for the first half of the season. However, despite interest in the abilities of Eze, City ultimately turned to Wolverhampton Wanderers and completed a deal for Portugal international Mateus Nunes, having admired his ability to cover ground across midfield and perform in defensive and offensive positions. Having experienced struggles to bring Nunes to the levels required to perform consistently under Pep Guardiola, however, Manchester City could to return to the market this summer for the player they almost approached over a move 12 months ago. That is according to the information of Team Talk, who claimed that Manchester City sources are anticipating some late moves at the Etihad Stadium with one player very much in the discussions and liked by Manchester um, City um, coach Pep Guardiola in particular. That name is Crystal Palace's Eberati Eze, who has reportedly been discussed internally at Manchester City, with serious consideration ongoing over the potential of a late approach for the England international. It is explained that the player is liked a lot by Pep Guardiola and has been greenlit as a top target by the Manchester City manager, whilst those within the stadium reportedly believe the 26-year-old is open to the move. Unfortunately for City, there is unlikely to be any chance of a bargain when it comes to sellers to, to the Seller Spark star, with the reports quoting a transfer fee of £60 million to even engage in conversation over a potential deal. Eberete Eze is not the only player within Oliver Glasner's squad to be attracting admiration and praise from within the Etihad Stadium, with Adam Wharton also understood to be a player of interest to both Tiki Bergestein and Pep Guardiola. Given the Englishman only joined Palace from Blackburn Rovers at the end of the January transfer window, it remains unlikely that a deal could be done this summer. And even so, the player is likely to command at least triple the investment issued by Crystal Palace bosses. Crystal Palace will be hesitant to sell either player this summer anyway, having already sanctioned an exit for Michael Elise to Bayern Munich and continuing to converse with Newcastle United over central defender Mark Gui. So what do you make of this new shoot city indeed go for Crystal Palace star Eberete Eze? And then in other news, also an article that appeared in City Extra which reads, What do Manchester City still think about a Bruno Guimaraes transfer from Newcastle United? Manchester City still retains some element of belief when it comes to their chances of signing Newcastle United's Bruno Guimaraes this summer, a new report has revealed. Etihad Stadium officials had earmarked the 26-year-old as their primary target in the centre of the pits this summer, holding a belief that they needed to find sufficient support for defensive midfield uh, mainstay Rodrigo. The view from within the club was that Bruno Guimaraes was not only a player capable of operating in the same position as Rodri alone, but could also venture higher up the pitch, offering added creativity to Pep Guardiola's ranks. However, having snapped the opportunity to purchase Guimaraes via his release clause earlier this summer, which is understood to have been worth £100 million and has since expired, City have largely been unmoved when it comes to negotiating a fee. And with only a matter of weeks remaining in the ongoing summer transfer window and the brand new Premier League season getting underway this weekend, many are wondering whether there is still any hope of Manchester City landing the Brazil international. According to a new report from the Athletics Manchester City correspondent Sam Lee, it may still be the case that interest from the Etihad Stadium in Newcastle United's Bruno Guimaraes is, re uh, is resurrected. However, it is made clear that finding an agreement between the two clubs could be difficult during the remaining weeks of the market, if not impossible. But from the side of Manchester City, they still believe that the Brazilian midfielder is still keen to join them. In the meantime, Manchester City fans have witnessed Pep Guardiola source a new tactic when it comes to an alternative to Rodri in defensive midfield, having promoted academy starlet Nico O'Reilly into the first team setup for the new campaign. 
The 19-year-old has operated in the position for two of Manchester City's preseason matches against FC Barcelona and Chelsea in the United States, with support from Matteo Kovacic, who has license to roam forward with the ball. That same duo in front of the defensive line was then utilized in the FA Community Shield victory against Manchester United. And should Rodri not be deemed ready for the Premier League opener against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge this weekend, we might just see it again. So that's then the end of this installment of news which I have for you right now. Please give me your thoughts on all that has been discussed. What do you make of a potential move for Bruno Guimaraes? Do you think that City will indeed go for the player or will still go for him? And then of course, a better essay. What is going to happen? Is Manchester City going to sign these two players? Must they sign these players? Should this deal be sanctioned by the club? Or do you think that Manchester City should rather look from within to fill the gaps that has arisen? Please leave me your thoughts down below and we can discuss it further in the comments. Until next time though, this is World Football News.